are so freaking f effing annoying on your triads and bears because they, you cannot dispel them and they do damage over time for like what two minutes or something. Oh, it's ridiculous. Anyway, the old giant screen plus plus six. The demon hunter, uh, uh, DK isn't gonna go anywhere. Oh, this expansion at a six o'clock. Six o'clock is going to be scouted, and the goggle is going to do a so freaking much damage against it. Oh, uh, 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 where's the stone form when you need it? I'm pretty sure stone form is doing its research because you cannot getting th get that many goggles and without using getting a stone form. It's kind of a, it's like getting ghouls without getting massing ghouls without getting frenzies. <laughs> it's pretty useless um, without it. It's just a troop multiplier versus especially versus the panda. Panda can just do a drunk hit with breast of fire like that and you're gonna do stone form it and avoid the effect of it and go back right go back go right back up and <laughs> just piss off the panda. No uh, <laughs> I think that's why pandas are in are endangered because they're so pissed off by the by the <laughs> cargoes. Anyway, it looks like four o'clock is going to be creeped out, cleared out, whatever. And I'm pretty sure go Goggles are going to have to heal here. And they are pretty uh, drunk. <laughs> have the drunken haze on them. This is what you get for drinking too much. Clock top plus nine on the on the DH. So DH is going to pass that to the Lich. The Lich is going to do a lot of damage now. No, don't do not laugh at Lich anymore because he he is really powerful now. It looks like both players are going to creep. It's kind of boring to see this replay one more time. Teleclock is being uh, thrown down by re by Remind, so Remind is thinking about getting bears. Um, no more harassment yet, and the both players are going to ooh the goggle is going to get caught. Uh, try to reinforcing, oh, <coughs> whatever. I think that's after six o'clock. He's taking down Remind right there, then throw down a uh, nine o'clock, <coughs> just to <coughs> excuse me. Just to have his has his uh, economy to get bears, and looks like the he probably is going to creep <coughs> out this camp and get a <coughs> get us got something. Got a what? What did he get? Okay, what what the hell did he get out of that thing? That was from the previous camp, and I have no idea what. The, well, I'm sorry, I missed it. I have no idea what the hell he got out of it. Maybe maybe it was a crab by Dino. No, whatever. Uh, dropship, I mean Goblin Zeppelin, I think I missed this first time around, he's going to use the Zeppelin to go to, to back the uh, Undead base and start harassing the economy, here we go, and then Undead has the exact, exact same idea, except he's not using a dropship, and the one Acolyte gets taken down, second Acolyte is taken down as well, I think two Acolyte course, no, just one, alright. And, and Fog's gonna have to TP here, use the gargoyles to, to target down the Zeppelin right away, and uh, uh, Demon Hunter is going to TP out of that thing. Looks like, uh, I don't know who got the worst of it. Um, Dine Elf lost a couple Wisps and, uh, and a Shop, and and uh, Undead lost an Acolyte. <laughs> two Acolytes. And, uh, and two Acolytes, one here and one here, and and Dine Elf lost a Dryad, so kind of even. A little advantage for Undead, if not, uh, if no advantage at all. Looks like the Telecla is going to be crept, and let's check. The Ooh, excuse me, I'm gonna check the item here. Um, do do do, nothing too exciting, nothing too exciting, just uh, standard stuff. I think later Remind has, is going to leave uh, leave a Sobe mask on the ground because his heroes are full of items. <laughs> it's a hard decision to make, but still. Uh, it's the right decision, nonetheless. Just watch. Um, that's a lot of freaking goggles. It wishes a Starcraft too. You can select all bunch of units and see how many they are. Uh, they uh, no more units being produced for some reason. Okay, by an undead. So an undead is going to stay at the 50 food, 50 food count. Here comes the dryads. Goggles run. Go to the tree line. Nice. And uh, I think the two abominations going to creep, creep with the two heroes and with a statue. DH is going to get all the health back. Let's see the items. Okay. Whoa, nice items on the Lich. The Lich is going to do so much damage per second with the, the orb. The orb's claws. Oh, nice standing. Oh, orb's claws gloss. Oh, man. Yeah, I think. And the Wisp saw where the undead army is. And here comes the Night Elf to creep check undead. Let's see if undead can get it. Um, can, can give this creep creeping dunk. Undead is going to back away. 
after getting that um, big creep kill, what, why did he get? Oh, uh, uh, Kaldala's gem of health or something. Kaldagars, whatever. <laughs> probably the guy is probably French. <laughs> that guy, whatever items named after the guy. Looks like the uh, gargoyle is going to harass, and uh, I think it, this abomination had to be sacked. Uh, this Asian protector has to be dealt with here. Um, Mana burn on the lich. The lich can do nothing but do damage per second, it's, but still pretty effective with the uh, golden taste and the uh, bunch of crap. <laughs> but the uh, statue is going to be probably sacked here. It's uh, pretty sad to lose the statues because they're uh, kind of tank. 550, 550 um, HP, but trying to run away from Team Hunter is not going to work. I think Fav knows about these. Spent. Nope. Fav has no idea this telecom expansion is going up. So he is going to uh, continue to harass the main instead of the expansion. Oh, over Venom effect is going to be really nice on the abominations in a skirmish like this because you can do damage over time and the abomination can go back to the blight and heal up. Boneyard is going to be up, so Fav is, going to, is, is expecting a bear tech switch, so he's going to get a Boneyard himself. Now he saw a Kuyota Claw and that's not going to work. Dude. <laughs> okay, oh, Dryads are gonna come to get these heroes slow, and um, the heroes have to split in two different directions. The Gargoyle is gonna come back and harass, and uh, Demon Hunter is gonna try to chase down the Gargoyles. Everything's happening all around the map. I don't know how the hell these players keep track of all this crap. Uh, <laughs> and the Gargoyles lead the Demon Hunter, try to, try to lead the Demon Hunter to a creep camp, and the uh, Demon Hunter didn't fall for it. Uh, oh no stone form uh, uh, to get uh, to get the drunk haze effect off the goggles. The demon hunter is gonna circle around trying to mana burn the lich one more time. Lich is gonna I'm not gonna have enough mana for Nova. And the de I'm pretty sure the, the demon uh, DK is next for mana burn. Uh, 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 there's the mana burn, so no more magic for a while for the undead heroes. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I think Undead is bu trying to buy time for his Frost Storm to get up, and I don't know if Remind is ex going to expect this. No, he has no idea. Those Boneyard is here. Um, and uh, well, um, Henning, I'm, I personally don't see a lot of Frost Worms versus Night Elf because the Dry is a perfect counter against Frost Worm. They are, they're magic immune, so they cannot take any damage from from the frost worm. And they have a piercing damage to uh, counter the uh, light armor from the frost worm, and they have slow poison. And if you do the uh, frenzy or whatever that name the spell cast casted by the necromancer on the frost worm, just to increase the damage per second, they can dispel that frenzy. So you, you, <laughs> you your hands are tied for getting a frost worm versus a night elf but it probably is going to get it so let's see what how it's going to work out for him um Fob is going to turtle and he's going to creep the this uh, island expansion with the with the goggles he's gonna he, i think he's majorly for gold this level 10 tracking gives a lot of gold here 162 gold but uh, he's on low upkeep so multiply that by 70 percent it's about uh, 100, uh, 111 some gold or something. Still pretty amount, uh, great amount of gold here. Wonder why he's not doing it for all the island expansions. And um, it looks like a dark, lesser dark minion from Remind. So we're gonna see uh, Orb of Darkness. Okay, on the panda. So both Nano player can hit air. Uh, both Nano heroes can can hit air with their heroes now. Our gold mine. Yeah, did I say that right? No, but whatever. <laughs> I'm kind of really tired. This is really early in the morning. Called today off because I re reactivated my sprained shoulder. It's, oh, it's freaking sore. Uh, that's why I haven't made any inappropriate jokes yet because <laughs> my shoulder is sore. I don't, I'm not in the mood. Anyway, I'm gonna try. I think Fall knows about the expansion right now. And he's going to try to end it right now. He's gonna try to take the eleven eleven o'clock or not? I don't know. Where is he going? I think he's suspecting. A, I think he's suspecting a creeping or. A, Expansion that you know, o'clock. He's not gonna see anything here out here, though. Nope. Yep. And now he's going to turn around and go to ten o'clock, maybe. And the night elf knows exactly where he is, and now he's going to. Oh no! The night elf doesn't. Night elf is going to uh, creep, and the shade is going to spot the incoming night elf army that is 
uh, economy force, and I'm pretty sure this 10 o'clock is going to be taken down. But the tree of eternity has walked to the 7 o'clock.